Hi guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jay Ruger. I'm the world's worst YouTuber. And today we're doing actually we are actually doing YouTuber things, because look what we just picked up. But today we're obviously going into the new beautiful wonderful and gorgeous Norvina palette. Um, last time I did a palette review did it with Luna Rosa here. Uh, you guys seem to really like that uh, especially the contrast of opinions of a makeup artist and a regular human being who wears makeup. So you guys liked that you know like it's applicable for these like high art fashion looks that everyone likes to see but then like it's real life applications as well. So I think that did really, really well. So it gave like two perspective opinions. So I've already laid down my foundation and you know, contoured and added some blush and stuff like that so that we could go ahead and just dive right into this. So let's open this up and take a look. Beautiful lavender velvet. You can hear that ASMR style, you know. It's so smooth and soft. I really love it. I'm afraid to get this anywhere near any of my other makeup because I don't want like it to get filthy. It does, of course, come with a plastic slip like most palettes do. Um, and it also does come with a brush. Uh, it's a double-sided brush. So you guys know how I feel about double-sided brushes. I just dropped that. It is, of course, a double-sided brush. And you guys know how I feel about double-sided brushes. I don't fucking like them. Um, however, real life practical human being who wears makeup as a real life practical human being does like them. So this is for you. Thanks. <laughs> you can use it to apply the makeup. No. So we're gonna hold the palette up for you guys to see. This is some really beautiful shades. I was actually very, very hesitant to buy this palette because in everything I'd seen online, I saw lots of different kind of conflicting images where the colors all looked kind of different. And in some review videos I saw, it looked like a fully nude palette with some purple colors in it. And then in another video I saw, it looked like a super purple palette. So I didn't know what I was expecting. So I went to the store, had to look at it, touch it, swatch it, feel all that junk for myself. And I did, and I decided I loved it. I needed it, gotta have it in my life. So if you guys want to see swatches of this, uh, you know for sure that you can head on over to my Instagram, that's Jay Ruger. Uh, also on my Twitter and my Facebook page, which is all under Jay Ruger. Everything I am on the internet is Jay Ruger, and you can see the swatches there. <laughs> oh god, what have I you done? I've already ruined it. I've already ruined it. I hate everything. Okay. Okay, you good? I done fucked it up, A.A. Ron. There we go. I don't know what to do, it's so pretty. I'm gonna start going in with a, uh, with bay. Whoa. Whoa. That's a lot of product that just picked up on that brush. Okay, I'm going in with base first. And I'm just going to, oh Jesus. See, I'm glad I put some of that bake down for, oh God, my bake is kind of like seamlessly melded into my face. It's a little difficult because I already have some makeup on. I actually just realized I have eyeliner on. All right, so I'm just gonna go in with base. And just kind of, that is like exactly my skin tone. Oh, that is a lot paler than I thought it was. It's interesting that I had a little bit of eyeshadow on before we started this video. Um, and that is high pigment, high coverage. <laughs> you know, like the amount that it has covered up of whatever little traces I had. It's kind of amazing. Uh, next, I think take a dunch of incense. Normally before we do these kinds of videos, I do like a little bit of research so that I actually like know what I'm doing going into the video. And I did not get that chance today. So I'm really just like, flying out it. A fly by the seat of my pants, it's fine. Penniless is flying by the seat of his pants. Handsome, boy does he know it. Peach fuzz and he can't even grow it. I'm using pigment, I'm like. <laughs> so it's blending like really nice. Blending like a fucking dream right now. I like it a lot. Oh, gosh, it just picks up so much pigment. Like one little yeah. like one little like dab into it picks up so much fucking pigment. I mean it um it blends really well and it doesn't it's not like streaky or anything and it's blending, but yes, there is a lot it of it's so much. It's like it's almost too much. It's like what? I'm using passion. It's so pretty, it's so you though. <laughs> That's why I like it. 
Well, um, I want to use that pumpkin shade. That's why I'm using these. Yeah, I know. That's your end goal. I think you know what my end goal is. <laughs> of course I do. <laughs> We've met before. Once or twice. This is it. I love it. This is the look. <laughs> So, so far, I'm, aside from that like first initial touch that I did, I'm not really having any fallout. Oh, okay. It's a little soft. <laughs> like having this many options is, what was that? It was the ghost. And I'm just gonna take the slightest bit of passion. It's so pretty. I'll put it right here. It's so oh my pretty. God. Yeah, I really love it. Like I put it on and I was like, okay, that's it, I'm done. Cause I don't, I don't want to mess up that color. <laughs> oh, that rose gold though. Oh yeah, you were on it for that glitter today. Oh, uh, I love it. It's really pretty. Ooh, beach, yeah. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it so much. What the heck? Oh god, this looks so good. Yeah, but every time I add a color, I'm like, all right, I'm done. I love it. <laughs> right? <laughs> like, this is it. I love it. This is the look. It's great. I'm living for it. I'm gonna take some concealer and I'm gonna cut myself a little crease out here. Do I have a blue? That's pigment, it has glitter. Yeah. Like... Br bruises don't have glitter. <laughs> Despite what you would want them to. Shush. Stomp on my dreams. This is, that is like a dragging aesthetic. Like a whole ass. I did play five men in a, in a prostitute once in a play. Now that I've cut myself a nice crease, I think I'm going to go in with Wild Child first. We're going for seamlessness. We're going for, wait, what? <laughs> um, I was getting ready for the event that we're going to. Who says I'm not? Uh, this is who I am. I don't know how I feel about drama. Hmm. Oh, mine didn't look like that on my skin. I don't know how I feel about it. That's so, that's not how it went on on me. Not at all how I thought that would go on. Yeah, well, my, it did not go on that way for me, so I don't know how you. It might have been the concealer. Maybe. I think there's a lot you can do here, and it's just a little overwhelming to have so many choices. Nope, I still hate this stuff. Is that tart? Yes! Um, can, can I talk about this? Yeah. Can I talk about how terrible this eyeliner is? Okay, this is that sex kitten um, eyeliner from Tarte and we got it in an Ipsy bag, right? We got it in like some little, it's like a little travel size. We don't talk about Ipsy, but yes. But yes. Um, it's really not good. It doesn't, it, it, it's hard to get the product off of the pencil onto your eyeball. Um, or not onto your eye, but onto your lid. It doesn't come on easy. Um, it doesn't, it doesn't, once it's, once you've got it going, it doesn't write well. <laughs> I don't know what the makeup artist terms for that, but it doesn't write well. Um, it doesn't stay. Um, so you're, you know, you put all this effort and you spend this much money on an eyeliner thinking that you're gonna get a good eyeliner and then you can't even get it to get on your eye without tremendous amounts of effort. And then once it's on, it has crazy amounts of fallout, just like in the middle of the day, throughout the day at work where it's a, you know, breezy 68 degrees for eight hours. And by the end of the day, my wing has fallen and I have fallout below my, you know, under my, my lower lash line. I, don't waste your money. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other eye off camera real quick. All right, last but not least is setting spray. And we're gonna be using this one. I just picked it up and it is the extra hold. I feel, I literally like this. I feel like I look so pretty right now. Sorry. <laughs> so final thoughts on the Norvina palette. So all the colors you, <laughs> All the colors used, uh, we used base, incense, volatile. No, we didn't use volatile. We didn't we use, use volatile. We used base, incense, eccentric, passion, dreamer, wild child, rose gold, celestial, and drama. So we used all but four. We used all but five shadows out of this to create these looks today. Um, so 
final thoughts on all of this is I really liked almost all of these shadows. I feel like uh, Celestial was a little bit difficult to apply in comparison to the other shimmer shades that I used. Um, and Drama did not go on to the eye the way it looks in the pan. It went on like a little more of a black purple. I don't hate it, but it's not how I thought it was gonna go on. Um, but I really do generally love this palette. I think it's a very good palette. And I think that the eye look I created today is very just beautiful, soft drama. And I love that. I liked all of them. I didn't have the same issue that you had with drama. Um, it went on exactly like I thought it would. Um, I don't know if that's because of... Yeah, I put concealer down first. Yeah, you put concealer do down first. Three of the like golden metallic colors here that weren't, because I used drama, and I used dazzling rose gold, rose gold and dreamer. And I felt like they all read really differently. It's not like, you know how sometimes you put on a shimmer shade and another shimmer shade and then you blend them and they look the same. Um, whereas like, I feel like you actually get a lot of depth here and they blended really well. So even someone like me who always, um, I don't do eyeshadow. That's not a thing that I do. Apparently it's becoming a thing that I do, but I'm a novice when it comes to this. Um, but I do feel like they blend really well and it's easy to get that distinguishable yeah. shade variance while also getting a nice blended look. So it doesn't look, look like you just like took a crayon and went to your eye. Yeah, so all in all, I think we actually really like this palette. I think it was really good. Uh, it was $45, and I think it is definitely well worth $45. Because mm -hmm. for $45, that comes out to, that's 14 shades for $45. And I really don't have like, really any complaints. There wasn't a whole bunch of fallout. Um, I feel like the glitter, what fallout I did have, actually just completely rolled off the face mm -hmm. entirely. Like, it didn't stick. I could feel little bits of glitter hitting my face, but it just rolled right off. Right. So I didn't have much fallout, aside from the very first, like, tap of incense. That had a tiny bit of fallout, but everything else kind of was stuck right to the eye and was kind of just stayed where I put it. Yeah, what I will say is that I do feel like actually dipping your brush in the pan for the shimmer shades, um, do not use a lot of force. It felt, so soft. It was very, very soft, and there, when, I, the, when I first actually dipped my brush into, I think it was the rose gold, like I, I messed up the whole pan. We were able to easily, like very quickly put it back to yeah. where it went, but very, nice very soft. Love that. All right, if you guys like this video, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And that's really it. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, bitch. Uh, a special thank you, shout out to all my patrons over at Patreon who support me. Without you guys, none of this is possible. Thank you guys so much, love you, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.